Greetings baseball fans, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Electro Sports. And this is the eighth game in the season for Bulldozer Power, who this week will be taking on the Regal Raptors, who as much as their record has got them at the bottom of the smoothing division, uh, a 4-3 and three record is certainly nothing to be ashamed of. The smoothing division there showing that they really are quite the powerhouse. We're going to be going with our standard opening lineup today, assuming that uh, we don't have injuries to contend with. So let's uh, not hang around and head straight to the game. Well, Blackencout is still carrying the injury that he sustained in the last time he played, uh, so we'll be uh, we'll be starting Mr. Feetum in his place. Uh, checking out the Raptors team. Uh, it's Velocidad who's going to be uh, leading off the pitching. Um, and uh, there are a couple of injuries on the Raptors squad. Uh, but let's see how we get on uh, at Ego 55. Play ball. Now batting, number 15, the first baseman. It's Milo Cano uh, who's going to uh, start things off for the Raptors. And that's made a quick pop to centre field. He'll get on base off the first pitch of the game. Now batting, number 12, the center field. It's Banasa Brody. Banasa Brody. Bananas Brody. That's strike one. Didn't quite make the double play off that, but we did manage to get rid of the advanced runner, uh, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Throw on away as the first pitch. Ah, strike one. He's popped that one high, uh, but it's gone wide of the foul line. Uh, managed to hit a member of the crowd there, firmly in the chest. I imagine they'll be suing a little later on today. And that's struck out. Uh, Mr. Feetum maintaining his reputation for being pretty fearsome when it comes to having a variety of pitches that make things happen. His Butterfingers Vectrix, uh, his, uh, his fitness is not what you might want. That's a foul. Uh, but he's uh, he's managed to hit the heck out of that one. That one is up into the wine bar. Um, the uh, the rest of the team there very pleased with that. Uh, and that will be two runs in there for the Raptors in this the opening inning. Now batting number twenty five, the third baseman. This is Avdano. Ave dunno, I dunno. That one's gone foul. And that's another big hit there. Uh, that's the uh, that's the second home run of this, the first inning, uh, with only one out so far. Now batting number 49, the left fielder. This is Cumulo Sawhorse. And Feetum's going to have to have a think about his confidence levels here because his uh, his pitching is uh, is not getting it done. But that's a little bit more promising. That's out number three side retired, but uh, three um, hits and three runs there for the Raptors. Uh, two home runs in that first inning were, uh, were not what you want to see. But uh, up to the plate, here comes uh, Ulysses' failure. Uh, he usually gets things done for us. Uh, we've got high levels of confidence that today will be his day. I don't know what the heck he was thinking there. Uh, we're not even bothering with this leave the first pitch malarkey. No, no he decided to take a swing. Back in the lineups, it's uh, B Jack Hookers. Yeah, we'll leave that one. Nothing doing. Leaving that one too, that's ball two. Yeah, I felt that one might be a strike, but it doesn't really matter. As Hookers gets a, a good slug on that one, but it's going to get caught. It's not going to get caught. It's a home run. Sorry, Hookers. Uh, should never have doubted you there for a moment. Uh, straight back into the starting lineup. 
and uh, and demonstrates why I was foolish to uh, to give him a week off in the first place. Here's Bam Bam Puckeye. Don't swing if you don't want to swing. Now Bam Bam's going to get out the same way that, that uh, Failure did. Uh, just a little unsteady on the performance there for her first at bat. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. Strike one. Not a strike. That one's gone foul. Strike two, ball one. Ball two. And Pumpkin has slapped that one into exactly the same place that Hookers did. Hookers clearly went, you want to hit it over there, pal. So he did, and there it is. Uh, two home runs. Um, that's nice and all, but some, some regular scoring wouldn't be a bad thing either. Uh, and that takes Bulldozer Power up to two runs. Here's Wilbur Carface. Ball one. That one's pretty low. He's going to get out as well. The the three outs there coming from uh, really quite lacklustre batting. And uh, at the end of the first inning, it is the Raptors three, Bulldozer Power two. Everything to play for. Now batting number 22, the second baseman. Here's Nevada Hughes. Play second base. Choose a lot of gum. Ball one. Yeah, he's not going to get very far on that one. He's out running to first. Now batting number 18, the shortstop. Hedwig Walker, the shortstop. Throw, throw something into the ground there because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, it's going to fall, isn't it? Pitcher didn't quite get his hand on it immediately, but certainly recovered in time to get that one to first, and that's another run out. Here's the pitcher. Reputedly, he bats with a reasonable amount of power. And that's caught out there by Pumpkin at third base. And that's the side retired for no hits. Now batting, number 13, the second base. Here's Sonny Watt. He's not hanging around. Uh, he's, uh, he's hit that one straight out to midfield. And uh, he's, he's chancing it for second, and gets the double. Now batting, number 63, the catcher. Steve Murray, not 100% fit, but he's back in the lineup. That's strike one. Uh, that one's going to go foul if he doesn't get caught, which he does. Steve Murray going for a little sit down. Lee Hu back in the bottom of the batting order uh, after his uh, flirt with... Uh, oh! Ow! Oh, man! Oh, you can't do that. Uh, oh, dearie me. Lee Hu gets a walk there uh, as Mr. Feetum steps up to the plate. Ah, uh, that's too low there, Sunshine. We're not going to go for that. That one's been uh, popped up skyward. But that's okay. We don't mind that. That's fine. Here comes Failure. Two on, uh, two on base at the moment. And uh, Failure will be hoping to actually uh, get something done here. Ball one. There's ball two. Uh, failure got that one away, but uh, it's going to get caught out in right field. Side retired. Uh, no change in the scoreline at the end of the second inning there. And uh, here comes Milo Cano uh, for uh, for the Raptors. And uh, we'll see if he can repeat his performance from the first innings. Well, he tried, but uh, he's, uh, he's out straight away. Very efficient dispatch there of Milo. Oh, he's, got a, he's got a large chunk of that one. Car faces there, though, and that's caught out as well. Two pitches, two outs. That's what we like to see. That's ball one. 
and uh, again incredibly efficient Feetum's arm is uh, is looking pretty springy and uh, the team are retired there again very quickly now back number 35 the left fielder here comes hookers uh, uh, he's going to be feeling pretty pleased with himself that's ball one Velocidad there throwing it a little wide uh, hookers goes for the second one slight error by the fielding team but he makes it in that one looked really, really close. Here's Bam Bam. Strike one. Strike one, ball one. Come on, throw it like you mean it. Let's go, come on. That's ball three. Bam Bam gets a walk. Might not be exciting, but we'll take anything uh, that gets us on base. Ninja Pumpkin. And this pitcher is now all over the place. That's his uh, fourth straight ball in a row there. Ball two, strike one. Ball three. Ball three, strike two. Here we go. That one's gone foul, but this is the action time. Oh dear, oh dear, that's going to be a double play. Not the result we wanted. Um, and uh, and here comes Wilbur Carface, who's going to hope to make a difference at the end of this inning. That one looked quite pleasing, he swung at it, but it uh, ended up in the dugout. Wilbur Carface uh, hits it with a hammer. Uh, it lands uh, outside in the parasols and the sailing boats and the uh, concession stand uh, where uh, one could pick up a Bulldozer Power t-shirt if they were that way inclined. Carface there getting it done and uh, Bullpat Bulldozer Power taking the lead. Here's Sonny Watt. He's pleased with himself. He got a double on his first at bat. He's not going to get a double off that one, no. Not unless this guy really does drop it. He didn't. That's the side retired, but uh, Bulldozer Power now swinging into the lead with another two runs there in the third inning. Now batting, number nine, the catcher. Here's Butterfingers Vectrix. Strike one. Well, we sent him a, uh, a, a fastball there, but uh, Vectrix was having none of it. Uh, he, uh, he, he, he fastballed that one straight back out again. Uh, that one has gone by UPS uh, into the wine bar vicinity, and uh, that's the game tied back up. Well, that one's popped up, and uh, Failey's going to try and get underneath it. Which he does, and it's caught. Now back, number 49, the left field. Here's Cumulo Sawhorse. Uh, let's see how fast she can move if we throw one straight at her. Well, it's gone foul, um, which given that that was, that was horrendous uh, in terms of it uh, of actually being a legit pitch. Fulder with the second one. Here comes the third. Uh, it's popped up. We've got both failure and Carface in the vicinity. Carface has got a piece of it. And uh, that's uh, Sawhorse there returning to the dugout. Uh, tail between her legs. As she is a horse. Ball one. Uh, Bam Bam dives a little late for that. That's going uh, uh, to be a two base hit there. Unless we make it even worse for ourselves. Oh no, no, he didn't chance it. Only went to first. Now batting, number 18, the shortstop. Here's Walker. Ball one. That pitch was all over the show. There you go, Bam Bam uh, elegantly diving straight over the top of that. We'll throw it to third just to be on the safe side. Um, but that wasn't uh, the finest piece of fielding we've ever come across. 
is Velocidad. If we can get rid of him here, uh, that would be helpful. Uh, he's put it up. We're underneath it. Lee, who's there? And that's the side retired. Excellent work. Uh, as we head into the bottom of the fourth, and uh, and the sky, the, the skies, the skies are all square. The scores, scores now are tied. Is number sixty-three, the catcher. Steve Morey will be hoping for something a little better this time. Oh, that was lovely. Should have swung at that one. Swings at that one instead. Steve Morey gets on base. And there's something you don't hear very often. Uh, a positive and uh, strong-minded uh, start to the inning. Here's Lee Hu, hoping to shake off uh, being beamed by the ball on the uh, on the first at-bat. Should have left, left that one alone. And that's uh, strike one. That's ball one. Coming straight at the camera, that one. There you go. Lee answers his critics by a home run. And that's two runs batted in. Lee Hu there coming back from being uh, stung really quite viciously by the pitch. And uh, he gets that one away out to right field. And uh, Bulldozer Power once again in the lead. Extending it now to two runs. And here's Mr. Feet. Best we can hope for here is uh, is that he gets a hit. That said, Mr. Feetum is uh, you know he's he's no slouch when it comes to getting on base. Obviously, didn't do it this time, but uh, but historically he's been all right. Failure's on uh, 0 for two so far today. Don't know what's going on there. Oh, hold on, that's a bit more like it. Never mind. Oh, there you go. Failure with uh, with quite a rare home run uh, struck in. Bulldozer power now starting to look like themselves as they did in the early part of the season. Uh, let's not forget that this ego setting is what uh, uh, the team lost on this setting last week. Come on, hookers. Concentrate. And that one's going into the crowd. That's uh, strike two. Ball one. Wisely left. That one has gone very, very high, but I don't think it's got the distance. No, hold on. It's got the distance. And uh, Hookers, with his second home run of the game, uh, is a mighty force to be reckoned with. That's his ninth of the season. Um, he's, uh, he's on fire. He's... Uh, He's feeling great. Um, he's got a new endorsement deal with Mercedes-Benz and uh, they're delivering his car at the end of the game. Uh, Bam Bam takes ball one. That's strike one. Uh, a, a good firm strike there from Bam Bam, but it doesn't help her. She gets run out to first. And here comes Ninja Pumpkin. Uh, he's... Uh, Oh my gosh, he's just so pleased with himself. That's ball one. That's uh, ball one, strike one. That one's in the ground. Ball two. You've got to be wondering how long they're going to keep Velocidad in the game. Uh, his, uh, his pitching really is not getting things done uh, as, uh, as Pumpkin gets on base. The center fielder. Scarface doing his traditional hip waggle. Strike one. And Carface has a large piece of that one. And that one is also a home run. And uh, Bulldozer Power are now lighting up the Raptors uh, and taking a, uh, a five run lead, a uh, six run uh, lead here. Uh, in the fourth inning and uh, and surely a change is going to be made soon his sonny what almost gets hit by the ball ball one strike one that's another good hit from sonny as he will get on base uh, there are two outs however so whether we get anything further from uh, from his progress remains to be seen here's steve morrie and a new pitcher enters the field. It's Zerwin Bugles, uh, who has a, a wide variety of wacky pitches at his disposal. That's ball one. That's ball two. These pitches really are wacky, friends. Uh, that one's been uh, rather popped up into the sky. 
let's just keep running. It's not going to make much difference. That's, uh, that's out number three. And uh, the side's retired, but not before running six runs uh, in and, uh, and taking a magnificent six-run lead. Now batting, number 15. The first base. Here's Milo Cano again. He's uh, he's going to try and do something exciting here to uh, to please the crowd, and uh, and that's not bad. I don't know what you were thinking. Honestly, that wasn't a the worst dive I've ever seen. Uh, anyway, he'll get a double off that one, and uh, and that's uh, that's the first batter there having done reasonably well. Here's Banassa Brody zero for two today. Uh, what are we, what do we got here? Big hair fundamentally. That one's gone a little wide. Keeping them guessing. Strike one right in the corner. Beautiful pitch there from Feetham. That one's gone a little bit high. There you go, straight in the middle. And you can't even hit that one properly. Uh, that one's gone to right field and that's fouled out. That one's promising, however, goes to centre, and uh, and that'll get him on base. Most unfortunate, uh, Feetham there was uh, was well, he was he was lighting up every corner of the strike zone. However, he felt like it, uh, but it wasn't sufficient uh, when it came down to it. And that's another good hit, and that's going to get them a run. Now, Bulldozer Power ten, Raptors five. His butterfingers. Uh, he's got two home runs. You're not, you're not, no, you're not mishearing. Two at bats, two home runs. Uh, what's he going to do this time? I'll tell you what he's going to do. He's going to find himself uh, fielding a whole slew of pitches that he's going to have a hard time getting to. There you go, that's uh, ball one, strike two. Uh, can we take him out at the plate? Ball two. Ball three is the action ball. No, he's he's got it again. I don't believe it. That's, uh, that's his third home run of the day. Three at bats, three home runs, and three runs in there. Um, amazing uh, to think that he's only had five home runs all season, and uh, and three of them have been today. And all of a sudden, that bulldozer power lead uh, is uh, is not quite as mighty as it was previously. Uh, I was starting to think like we might get away with this one, but we're not getting away with nothing. Uh, beautiful piece of field, football, boom, boom. Uh, a beautiful piece of fielding there, and uh, and that's a run out to first. Uh, finally, the first out in this series. Um, uh, Feetum is a little rattled, and I, I, I would be too if uh, if people had been uh, setting up that many home runs on me. Uh, Bam Bam gets the second out there. Is this going to be a batting collapse uh, from the Raptors? Either way, Feetum is not long for this uh, for this game. We're gonna we're gonna retire him pretty quickly, but we'll give him the chance to finish out this inning. There we go. That's the job done. So it was looking positive for Bulldozer Power, but now they uh, they cling on to a, uh, a two-run lead as uh, as Lee Hu steps up. Ball one. That one was, was also a ball there, Lee. That one's a ball as well. Lee's a bit nervous having been hit by the first pitch he faced today. Ball three. Ball four, Lee gets a walk, uh, second walk of the day. And as mentioned, don't care how he gets there, as long as he gets there. Here's Mr. Feetum. I should have re uh, replaced it. I should have put a pinch hitter in. Never mind. That's strike two. Hey, he sees uh, swing and a miss there, and, uh, and Feetum's going to go go sit down. Number 32, the right fielder. Failure had his comeback at bat in the last inning. Uh, let's see if he can continue uh, some, some more promising form. Where was that one going? He threw that one at the mascot. That one's good. No, it's not. And, uh, and Failure's out there caught in left field. Now back, number 35, the left field. Here's Hookers. He'll have heard that, uh, that Vectrix has got three home runs today. 
and uh, having got two already, he's going to, I mean, he's going to see that some kind of personal challenge. Uh, it's ball one, strike one. Very late swing there from hookers. And that's going to be all bad news all day long as the side is retired. So coming into the sixth inning, and uh, it is uh, Bulldozer Power 10 and the Raptors 8. And uh, we're going to make a, a quick switcheroo on the pitching staff. Uh, Phaeton has done his, uh, his good work for today. And uh, who, looks, uh, who looks promising? Uh, we're going to bring in Tulip Banter. Now pitching number 34. See if Tulip can't make a bit of a difference in the uh, in the latter half of this game. Failures underneath it. That's out number one. One strike, one out there. Continuing to throw sliders. Sally's got it. Throws it to first. Out number two. Now batting number 15. The first base. Here comes Milo Cano. He's having a decent time today. And uh, let's see what he's got up against Ms. Rhythm. That's ball one. That's ball two. And it'll get well on the way to centre field. And uh, we, we, uh, we managed to get the ball back in time. Uh, but... Uh, we're going to need to sharpen up the pitching if we're going to avoid any more scoring being done here as uh, Banassa Brody uh, makes his way to the plate and uh, he's, he's got a steely-eyed look about him. Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's feeling like, you know, well, this could be my day. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to get on the all-star team. Uh, my baseball card's going to go for, for more than 20 quid. I'll throw that on a second and, uh, and that's the side retired there. So heading into the bottom of the sixth now, and Bulldozer Power will be hoping to uh, to, to make some magic happen as uh, as Bam Bam uh, steps up to the plate. She's been walked so far today, but has yet to have a hit. Swung a little late at that. Oh dear! Come on, Bam Bam. Well, she used to be our hero, but uh, that's the third time she's been run out so far today. And uh, here comes Ninja Pumpkin, who's having a much better time of it. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, he really didn't want that one anywhere in the stadium. That's ball two. Pumpkin gets it to centre field. And that will be enough uh, to get him on base. Now back, number 11, the centre fielder. Our second home run hero, Wilbur Carves, uh, also has two home runs so far today and uh, is looking for more. He's, he's looking to leave those kinds of pitches alone. Strike one, ball two. That's ball three. And he's going for a walk. I'll take that all day long. Now batting, number 13. The second base. Here's Sonny Watt. A double and a single. And uh, that's just how he likes his coffee. Oh, Sonny. Sonny gives it away far too easily there. And uh, and he's out uh, having popped that one up. Uh, here's, uh, here's Mr. Morrie. And uh, he's, uh, he's got it. Arguably, if he were wearing sunglasses that were a little less dark, he'd hit a few more uh, pitches. But uh, we'll see how he gets on with this. Well, that's ball two. And that was a strike. Strike two, ball two. Steve's got it. And that's good enough to load up the bases. And uh, that all that remains there is for Lee Hu uh, to come in and clean up. He's had a home run, he's had a walk, uh, and he's been hit by the pitch today. It's all happening for Lee Hu. Uh, anything could happen in this one, but I reckon that, uh, that he's going to make a big difference and we're going to get some runs. Oh, Lee really is getting it done. Uh, it's a shame that was out number three because uh, he did uh, spank the pitcher. 
straight in the chops. Um, and when I said everything's happened, as far as Lee Hu is concerned, uh, clearly it has. Uh, that's uh, that's a dead picture right there. Um, but it, it unfortunately it didn't have many legs on it after that point, so uh, it, uh, and it, it that one ended up getting the team out. Uh, meanwhile, we're we're back, and uh, and Tulip is facing off against Michael Butler. Carface will come in shorter for that, and he'll get on base. Now batting, number nine, the catcher. Here's Vectrix, three for three, three home runs. Seriously. Well, that one's not going to be a home run, but it will get him on base. That's two runners now. Uh, for the Raptors and uh, and Bulldozer Power are going to need to step up their defensive play here if they're going to avoid losing the uh, lead that they established early on in this game. That's a very big hit. Damaging. Uh, we get a nice view of the parade that's going on outside the stadium there which is arguably the only high point uh, as far as Bulldozer Power fans come. To, uh, to this particular incident that has seen them lose the lead. Now back, number 49, the left field. Here's Sawhorse. And that one's gone up pretty high as well, but Carface seems to be pretty confident. He's pretty confident, and, uh, and that's an out. Uh, here's Nevada Hughes, the, uh, the second baseman. Uh, we haven't said much about Nevada today. Uh, oh yeah, choose quite a lot of gun. But arguably, that, that could be true of many, many ball players. Uh, they do like their gum and or chewing tobacco as, the, uh, as their, their, their own personal taste uh, may dictate. That's ball one, strike two. And a beautiful strike out there as, uh, as Tulip takes care of business. Two outs now, and the shortstop's up to bat. It's Hedwig Walker, and uh, what's uh, what are we going to throw first here? Uh, that's another big hit there. And it's a home run. Oh, dearie me. And, uh, and that's now the Raptors, two. Two ahead. Now batting number 73, the pitcher. Unsurprisingly, Bugles is getting taken out in place of uh, Tanya Loins. Um, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I don't write them. Um, and uh, she's not very good either. She's going to get out running to first, and that's the side retired. Uh, so we're going to see a new pitcher coming in now. There goes Tanya. Thanks, Tanya. Good joke. Well done. And his Fats Downtown uh, relief pitcher uh, for the Raptors. Uh, he'll be hoping to put this one away as we enter... The, uh, the bottom of the seventh, and it's Tulip Banter first now up to bat. Number 34, the pitcher. I don't hold with pinch hitters. I expect my pitchers to be able to, to hang when it comes to, uh, to being at bat. Uh, that's ball two. Strike one. And that was, that was moving at quite a, quite a pace. There's strike two. Is Tulip even going to swing? Full count. And struck out. Tulip not pleased, uh, but she did at least soak up the opening five pitches from this new pitcher. Here comes failure. He's going to have to do something a little bit better than he has been. There's ball one. Uh, he hit that one foul. He's got that one away though, and uh, and failure's on base finally, uh, and that's uh, that's all good. As, uh, as Hooker steps up, uh, he's, uh, he means business. Uh, three or four for today with two runs uh, of the Homer variety. That's ball one. That one's gone foul. It was arguably a little high there. Maybe shouldn't have swung at it. Uh, there's ball two. That one is ball three. Strike two, full count. That one's gone foul. Hooker's not leaving the plate anytime soon. That one's gone foul as well. 
He could have walked there. Oh, an error there from the first baseman and uh, and hookers as a as a lucky escape. Um, uh, but gets on base and here comes Bambai. Bam Bambai. Well, whatever her name is, she hasn't done anything for us so far today, and uh, and we've got to be hoping that that uh, that this at bat is the one that turns it all around. Strike one, ball one. Oh, bam, bam, for crying out loud. Well, that's the side retired, the whole side almost retired there. Bam, bam, managed to get on base, uh, but not before costing hookers his, uh, his position on the field. Runners now at first and third. Here's Ninja Pumpkin, two outs. Can he make a difference? Yes, he can. Uh, that's going to be a run which will uh, which will close the gap. Two on base, uh, one run in there from uh, from Pumpkin. So excited, I can't even say their names. Here's Wilbur Carface. Strike one, and he's got that one. It's gone off the back fence, but uh, that's going to be good enough to get him a double and get another run in, tying things up now 12 to 12. Uh, what a great game uh, this is turning out to be. The pressure on Sonny Watt here is extreme. Sonny doesn't give a monkey, smacks it away, gets another run in. Bulldozer power now back in the driving seat and uh, and they're going to hope to keep it that way as, uh, as Steve Morrie, who's hitting 500 today, comes up to see what he can get. Ball one, that's what he can get. Steve's popped that one up. It's not going to be enough uh, unless it's, you know, gone kind of suborbital there, but uh, it hasn't. Uh, he's caught out at centre field. That's the side retired, but uh, Bulldozer Power now back in the lead as we head into the eighth inning. Now batter, number 15, the first baseman. Milo Cano back at the plate. Uh, no one makes any effort towards that one. He's going to probably get a double out of that. Here's Banassa Brody. I mean, Tulip's only thrown 23 pitches so far, so we're going to keep her in. Uh, I see no reason to switch her out after after one at bat, but uh, but we'll see uh, see exactly what we get out of this. It was a double. They got a double off the first one. Oh, oh dearie me! Uh, that was me thinking we might get a double play. Um, from the uh, from the defence, uh, but in fact we we let it all just happen there. Tulip will be looking askance at uh, at Sonny Watt for a for a fielding error. That one's fair. That one's f somebody put some effort into it. Run for the thing, will you? Well, there you go. That's the Raptors taking the lead again as the uh, as the fielding unit uh, collapses. Uh, error after error from the fielding unit from Bulldozer Power, and uh, and the Raptors are straight back in it again. There you go. Bam Bam actually makes a difference there and uh, and gets a catch from shortstop. Number twenty-five, the third baseman. But that's only one out, and uh, and there is some action out there on the plates. Uh, second does have someone on board. Strike one. Tulip's now a little rattled. Uh, another big hit here, and uh, and will take her out to the ball game. <coughs> but that's uh, Bam Bam making the second play there, and uh, and that's another run out. Here's Cumulo Sawhorse, who hasn't done anything yet today. Uh, but knowing how uh, Hollywood narratives work, uh, she could light up a nice big hit here and, and pretty much assure the team the win. Taking no chances, uh, run out to first, and that's the side retired. Another two runs there for the Raptors, and, uh, and the Bulldozer Power uh, offensive unit are coming out now. Uh, a run down. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. Is Lee Hu. He's done it all. Uh, Fats Downtown is uh, is being taken off in place of Mario Owen, uh, who's uh, 
who's going to try and finish out this game. That's ball one. Lee's not biting on that. Lee almost gets hit by his second pitch today. That's ball two. That one was definitely a strike. That one probably wasn't. There we go. Full count again. Lee, who's used to these situations. Uh, he's made a bit of a dog's dinner of that, though. That's a foul. Oh, Lee. Oh, oh, you could see it coming, Lee. You could have done it. You, you could have got there. Uh, so Lee's retired, and we're going to sub out uh, Tulip in place of someone who feels like they might actually uh, might actually do something. And it's going to be Jemima Hurts. Reserve shortstop. My goodness, she's very tall. That's strike one. The ball one, beg your pardon. That's strike one. Now, there we go, we're all square. Ball two. Uh, she said that one foul. Ball two, strike two. Oh dear. Look, if I'm going to bring you off the bench, it's your time to shine. And uh, and she's out there running to first. Here comes failure. He's uh, he's jacked up. He's had a home run today. Uh, what's he going to do with this one? Oh, you clown. Um, well, he's going to get himself out on the first pitch by popping it up. Uh, right, so it is uh, a time for another pitcher. Are we going to bring in Sally? Uh, or, uh, I don't know, Cattle Prod uh, looks to be... Uh, Looks to be the uh, the most uh, reliable uh, relief pitcher that we've got in now the bullpen. Is Nevada Hughes. Now, any scoring done in this inning is uh, is going to make things jolly difficult uh, for your bulldozer power, and uh, and as such, we're going to try and uh, try and dispatch people properly. Although so far, Cattle Prod has thrown. There you go. That was a 98 mile per hour fastball, and uh, got a got a strike out of it. Oh, suckered well and truly. What's it going to be, Sunshine? What's it going to be? Yeah, it's going to be another one of those because I like them. Oh, he's hit that one very long. Carface is there. Here's a home run. Nuts. No, not giving any pithy commentary. Get off my field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're all very clever. Well done. Now batting, number 18, the shortstop. Hedwig Walker. Uh, arguably, she might be facing the wrong way, but, uh, but it doesn't seem to have slowed her down too greatly so far today. And that's a foul. Big sinky, fast curve ball, ball curve there. And uh, she hit that one over her head. It's gone into the crowd. <clears throat> Someone get under it. Thank you. And that's out number one. Now batting number 74, the pitcher. They're leaving the pitcher in. Interesting. They clearly think that he can do more damage by, uh, by pitching, uh, regardless of what he manages to get from his at-bat here. And he's popped that one up. Um, if someone doesn't catch this, I'm going to be jolly disappointed. But there he is. Uh, I think that was Pumpkin there. Got a piece of that. And that's uh, that's all out. Lead off batter Milo Cano. First one goes foul. Uh, we're going to continue throwing rubbish at him. Uh, see if we can get a few more swings from him. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we'll see what we see. Ball two, strike one. All right, let's start throwing some, some real stuff. Oh, you went for that one, you turkey. There you go, struck out at the plate, and uh, and Cattle Prod gets it done. Uh, the reason we brought him in being the thing that he just did. And here we go, bottom of the ninth. Uh, Hookers is at bat, and uh, we need two runs. Hookers coming out swinging, puts that one foul. That one's gone up to centre field, and that's a positive start. Hooker's now on base. You can cut the tension in the air uh, with a tension cutter. Here's Bam Bam. She's done nothing today, but this is the time where she could tie the game up with a home run. Now we know she's capable of this. A bit of a late swing there. 
That's ball one. Ball two. Strike one. Don't swing at that. That uh, would have been a ball, but that's strike two. That one's legit. Bam Bam gets on base. Uh, and you could say that uh, that never has there been a better time for Bam Bam to get on, pay, on base. There's no out. Uh, Ninja Pumpkins at bat. He's had a big day so far. Two runners. Uh, this could be it. No. Let's, I mean, steady on. Uh, you know, going for a, you know, a, a knock it out of the park as your, as your winning move, I think, is a little optimistic. That's ball three. No strike so far. That was a strike, but we were kind of expecting that. That's a strike as well. Pumpkin's got a swing soon. And he's walked. Base is now loaded. Uh, wisely there uh, was uh, Pumpkin just leaving everything to bring up Wilbur Carface. Uh, if this goes well, it'll be great. If it doesn't, it won't. It's not good. Oh, Carface there caught. Uh, but... Uh, uh, but no further outs. Base is still loaded. Is Sonny Watt? He's hit that one foul. Sonny Watt used to uh, the flipping X Sonny. Strike two. That's ball one. No pressure. That's good. There we go. We're going to go for it here. We're going to get it all done right now. The runner to home is in. Bulldozer a power. Get it done. Sonny Watt. And there you go. Bulldozer a power. They uh, they managed to, to slap it all up there at uh, at the end of the ninth inning. And uh, a remarkable a remarkable recovery. And this is baseball uh, as uh, as Bulldozer Power bounced back from a two week losing streak uh, to uh, to be back on top once again. Uh, we'll be jolly pleased uh, with that performance. Hold on. We are jolly pleased with that performance. And uh, it puts us right back in the driving seat where exactly where we want to be. Cattle Prod quite rightly rewarded with the win uh, for that one. So the three star players of the game, unsurprisingly, it's Butterfingers Vectrix uh, who gets the honours. Uh, four of five with three home runs. Amazing stuff. Uh, and then immediately behind him with two home runs is uh, Wilbur Carface and another two for hookers. It was quite the home run derby today. So we've got four games left to simulate this week and uh, let's get that done. So champions versus the explosions and uh, the champions win six to four. Pirates, Brown Sox. Uh, Brown Sox actually a rare win there, winning three to two. Uh, the Fruit Bats against the Monte Express is not even a competition. Uh, the Fruit Bats 16 to 2. And the Aardvarks against the Leprechauns. I uh, don't think the Aardvarks have shown up, but they're back. Uh, top of the 7th, bottom of the 8th, 9th of 12th of the 12th of the 11th. There, and a result happened. Uh, the Aardvarks managing to squeak a win there at the. Uh, that was a very exciting game. Um, regrettably, you can't watch the uh, the games that are being simulated. Otherwise, I might just record those and, and show you the occasional highlight. But you can't, so I don't. Uh, anyway, in terms of uh, what does that do to the standings, uh, the Raptors dropped to four and four, uh, which is still um, uh, a very a very decent record, uh, given that the rest of the team, the Monte Express, on six and two, Aardvark six and three, Le and Leprechauns on five and four. Uh, in the tactical division, Bulldozer Power back out in front ahead of the Excavators. Uh, and the Nomads and Brown Sox are both off the mark now as they're starting to put their season together. Uh, both over in the Bad Company Conference and, uh, and the Tree Gun Division, uh, it's the Ocelots and Swingers tied in first. Swingers will be the next opponent uh, for Bulldozer Power. And if they can keep up this kind of pace, maybe, maybe, just maybe maybe the Ocelots will break out in front. Uh, the Eagles and then the Dodgers uh, round out the tree gun. And then in Bombastic, it's the Fruit Bats out in the lead ahead of the Pirates. And the, champ the Champions, and then the Pirates, and then the Explosives. Not explosions, as I said before, explosives. Uh, anyway, it's uh, it's going to be a big game next week. Uh, Bulldozer Power versus the Swingers, both teams on 6-2. and two. Uh, The Swingers, extreme power hitters, uh, versus the Bulldozer Power, power hitters. I don't know, anything could, be, uh, anything could happen there. And uh, I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, please subscribe to make sure that your season ticket is up to date. And uh, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed the game. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio!